18, 2022 Planning Advisory Commission meeting to order. The official start of this meeting is 9 a.m. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the liberty of justice for all. Um, please silence or turn off your cell phones. Thank you. I remind those in the audience and those watching on TV that this is the first hearing of any rezoning tax change or special exception request brought before us today. We will first hear a reading to the staff report for the case by planning staff and ask the applicant to provide a brief overview of the request. We will then give the opportunity for anyone in the audience to speak for or against that request or to inquire about said request. The commissioners will have any needed discussion on the case. Once a motion is made and seconded by the commission, a vote will take place and a recommendation will be rendered. The case will go back to the planning department for their independent recommendation. If a favorable recommendation is given, then the case is forwarded to the city council with two independent recommendations. If the planning department makes a recommendation for denial, the applicant will have 10 days from the receipt of the letter stating the denial to notify the clerk of council that they are requesting to be placed on the city council's agenda. The city council of Columbus will hold a public meeting called the first reading. Said council shall consider the case review the Planning Advisory Commission and Planning Department recommendations and hear discussions on the matter. Council will make a final decision at a second public meeting called the second reading. Our first agenda today is to prove the minutes of our previous meeting. Does any commissioner have any comments or corrections to the minutes? All right, well, I will, would, would ask for a motion to approve the minutes. Yes, Mr. Bailey, a second. All right. I'll, in favor, raise your right hand. All right, thank you. That brings us to our first case of the day. Case REZN 0322503, a request to rezone 3.30 acres of land located at 36, whoops, that's the wrong one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had the wrong piece of paper on top of it, I apologize. Uh, it's REZN 0422. 0776, a request to rezone 20.36 acres of land located at 11011 Veterans Parkway. The current zoning is RE1, Residential Estate 1. Proposed zoning is RE10, Residential Estate 10, with conditions. The proposed use is nursery, wholesale, greenhouse, and nursery, retail. Harlan Price is the applicant. The property is located in Council District 2, Davis. We'd like to hear from staff. Yes, sir. The general land use is consistent for planning area A. The current land use designation is general commercial futures rural residential. It is compatible with the existing land uses. The property does not lie within the floodway and floodplain area. The developer will need an approved drainage plan prior to issuance of a site development permit if a permit is required. The property is served by all city services. There will be no traffic impact. Uh, this site shall meet the codes and regulations of CCG for commercial usage. Um, no school impact, no buffer requirements, um, no floor bending recommendation, no DRI recommendation. The surrounding zoning to the north is Harris County, to the south is RE1, to the east is HMI, to the west is RE1. Fifteen property owners within 300 feet of the subject properties were notified. The planning department received five phone calls regarding the rezoning. Um, none were in opposition or, or approval, They're just inquiries. Additional information, um, this does fall within the Veterans Park Parkway overlay. Um, they will have to meet those buffer requirements. Um, and then just a few other comments pertaining to the case. Um, this, I had a, got a few phone calls yesterday about the sign. The sign still has general commercial on it. Um, the applicant has been notified. They've been trying to work with the sign company to get that updated to reflect RE10 to which, which they're going to now. Um, as well as the condition for this property. Um, we're gonna condition the RE10 to, per, to allow nursery and garden supply retail sales per, permitted in RE10. Typically that is a general commercial use. Um, we do not want general commercial, or we would not like 20 acres of general commercial 
it, it is in this area. Um, it, it, it wouldn't fit in with the, with the other zoning classifications, classifications in the, in the surrounding area. Um, and that's all the additional information. All right, thank uh, you. Is there any questions from commissioners? Oh, one question. Is it correct that this business has been operating in this location since before the UDO was passed? And that's right. Yes, okay, sir. So that, that's why way, they're just already... grandfathering it in. And... Right. Okay. Yeah. The, the reason that this is coming about is they're trying to add an additional building to it. And to be able to do that, they have to be in the right, right zone and classification. Thank you. Is there any other questions? I, I have a question now. You're saying the condition is to limit it to this use? Yes, sir. It would be limited to nursery wholesale, but they would also be able to do retail sales, which is the retail set sales portion of it is typically only allowed in general commercial. We're going to condition it to allow them to use that the retail sales in RE10 okay. so that they can continue doing what they're doing, but also sell to the public if they would like. Okay. Is there any more questions? Okay. Will the applicant please come forward, state your name and address for the record, and give us an overview of your request? Uh, yes, I'm Harlan Price uh, with Architectural Innovations Design Group Architects here in Columbus. I guess my residence address is 241 Tiger Way in Fortson. Um, basically, they've got an existing kind of sales building out there on the site, but it's an old double wide and it's kind of falling apart, so they need to get something back in a condition that's a little more usable. Um, and as, as it's already been stated, you know, the, this has been there a while and the zonings have changed. They're just trying to get in, in compliance since we, you can't add a building in that zoning. So this is really just replacing a building out there with something that functions a little better for them. Um, the designation RE10 on the sign is supposed to get changed this afternoon. I apologize for not getting it done before now. Just we're all busy. Um, I do have the owner here, well, over representative here too, just so y'all know that even those in out of town uh, business, they are dedicated to Columbus and, and doing it right. So, um, and we've already provided drawings to the city that shows the changes we're gonna make out front for the, for the buffer ordinance and for the being overlay district. So we're, I think we're already provided drawings for everything in compliance with that. So we're doing our best to do this right. Any questions from commissioners? Uh, just one. Um, what percentage of the sales do you expect are going to be retail as opposed to commercial? Right now, it's it's negligible. Um, they just sometimes have people walk in, hey, do you sell? You know, they, they, they don't really advertise mm -hmm. to the public. And that may change in the future, but for now, it's probably 1%. I'll be uh, to speak to that. If you want to speak to that, yeah. If, yes, please come forward. Yeah. State your name and address for the record. My name is Thomas Jones. I am Director of Operations for Stovall & Company. Been with them for about 25 years. We're glad to be in Columbus. We've been here for probably about 10 years. Just to clarify a little bit, that is a 20-acre piece of property. But we only, if you see the aerial or, or have been to the location, we only occupy about 10 of those acres or so. So we're not looking to change anything that we're already doing. We're already selling to contractors and selling to homeowners when they come in. But primarily, we sell to contractors. We don't gear our businesses. We've got other locations in Atlanta. And we don't gear any of those locations toward retail. It just happens that retail comes in occasionally. Probably less than 5% of our business is retail. Um, we, we don't have paid parking lots. It's all gravel. And it's really geared toward commercial contractors. They come in and buy from us, and we deliver to them. But primarily commercial. Any other questions? Thank you. Okay, sir, how are you doing? You're talking about adding on to this building that's already there. Am I understanding this correctly? No, ma'am, we've got a double wide trailer on the property. It's a little modular office trailer that termites have just about eaten up. I have had to repair it uh, two or three times and it's fallen apart. And we're just trying to uh, take that away and put a nice, beautiful, stone front, hardy plank sides to meet the requirements from the county building, about 4,500 square feet is what we're hoping to put on the property if y'all want to allow us to do that. Okay, so you're gonna enhance the Absolutely. building. Oh, okay, thank yes, you. Yes, ma'am, because right now it's a modular office trailer. And uh, so what we want to do is build, build a slab building 
that's really nice and really pretty and enhance the property, not okay. not make it any worse. We've been there for, like I said, about eight years, and uh, that building is just about gone. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any, right. other, any questions? other questions amongst commissioners? All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak for this said request? Yes, sir. Please go to the podium and state your name and address. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Willis Carter. I live at 4550 Almond Road. Uh, my only concern is uh, that my driveway is right across the street from the road frontage that this property owns. My concern is what, what, are, they, what, what are their intentions to do with this property in the future? Uh, been there, my, fat, my wife's family been on that road since 1940. Uh, there is a tremendous uh, amount of, of traffic has built over the years. You got a road, you got a sign on each end of the road that says 18 tons or 30 foot. There's gravel trucks, they're illegal. There's ready mix trucks, they're illegal. There have been 18 wheelers that have been uh, going to th these people's uh, place of business. And they tell me they're lost, but they're not lost. They go right around the corner and go right in their driveway. Uh, I, I mean, they, they're running a business, and I understand that. And being good, they're being good neighbors. Good. They're being good neighbors. Now, I do have a concern about that. The speed limit on that road is 40 miles an hour. They're doing 50 and 60 miles an hour. I've been, I've been trying to deal with this situation for 8 to 10 years now. I know the city has got a large amount of crime going on. This is a little thing to them. But when does my time come? When is, when is the law enforcement right there and, and, and take care of the business? Right. Our purpose here is just to rezone the property. We don't yes, sir. have any control over right. the police. Right. My, my concern is that piece of property where it, it drops into Almond Road, if you see on the map, Right down that small section of road, it's a, it's a, my driveway is right across the street from it. In the future, they, this is a, a, a residential road, I mean, if you guys know where it's at. Large tracks, no businesses on that road. That, is, that would be a safety issue on that curve right there. My driveway's on that curve, I know. When they come around that curve at, at 60 miles an hour, you better be looking out. My question is, ultimately, is what's their intention to do with this uh, road frontage on Almond Road that they're on? Okay. Thank you. Yes, would one of the applicants like to respond? Yes, sir, please come back to the podium and address the commission. Again, Thomas Jones. Um, there is a, if y'all have seen the plat of the property, there is an entrance. Uh, there's a, we do connect to Almond Road. That is not our, it's not paved, it's not developed. Uh, right now we have no plans to do that. And we'd have to go before the Planning Commission again, I would think, to even be able to get permission to do that. You, you wouldn't have to come through the Planning Commission, but the engine, you would have to show how you're gonna connect the road and the, I would imagine the engineering department would require you to um, design that out for them right. to be per permitted there. So we have no uh, plans to uh, develop that entrance at all. Um, it's there, it was part of the property when we bought it. And uh, like I said earlier, we're only using about 10 acres of the property that we have now. And our entrance is off of Veterans Parkway, and that's where it'll remain, off of Veterans Parkway. Yep. Commissioners have any questions? So you do not have any trucks going in and out of Almond Road right no, now? No, sir. It's, it's, it's trees and woods, and it's not, it's not even a road. It's not developed. There is a, 
there is a point where the property does touch Almond Road, but it's not developed at this time. Yes, sir, I understand that. We have no plans to develop that at all right now. Okay. Uh, you're right, the delivery people that deliver to us don't work for us. Um, sir, you need to address us, please. I'm sorry. But uh, so that's, uh, that's, we have no plans right now to develop that entrance. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I have a question. Yes. Sir. Yes. Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. please. yes okay. Are you saying that there would not be no big trucks coming down to your business establishment where he, his driveway meets? The road. None of the trucks that we own that I have control over would, would use those roads. Okay. If they do, we'll deal with it, but they shouldn't. Uh, and there's weight limit signs like, uh, I don't know your name. There's weight limit signs like he said um, that, that should prevent big trucks from coming up and down Almond Road. Okay. Um, but uh, we're on veterans, our entrance is on veterans, and that's the road we use. Okay, thank you, sir. Right. Any other questions? Does anybody else in the audience that would like to speak for this request? Yes, ma'am, you need to come to the podium, please, and state your name and address. Thank you. I'm Cheryl Wadsworth. I'm in Almond Plantation and been there for about nearly 30 years. Is there any way that we can guarantee that that access road to Almond Road will not um, be ever utilized? Can't, can't we condition that to uh, reflect that? Yes, technically we can condition this, add it as number two, to uh, say that there can be no ent entrances or exit um, from the property connecting to Almond Road. But they would have to agree to that. Um, but it, it is possible, yes, ma'am. Okay, how do we go about getting that done? Uh, we can, if they'll, they can discuss it and if they, will allow it. We would like to come back up to the podium and give an answer. Uh, sure. Um, is there any way that we could condition that to this particular approval? I wouldn't want to uh, devalue the property if we want to sell it in the future. Uh, because that entrance is there now. It was part of the purchase. It was part of what we paid for. Right. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a condition on it now saying that we wouldn't do it now or as, as long as we own it or something like that. I don't know how that would work. Yeah, we don't put time limits on conditions. If we condition this, it will just run with the, the property until you come back and you, you can come back 10 years later and say we want to remove that single condition from Could from we do it. that later if we, if we wanted to? You, you can. Um, okay. Yes, sir. Well, then for now, I guess we wouldn't be opposed to it uh, because we don't plan to use it as part of our current operation. Okay. okay. Thank you. Is there anyone that would like to speak against this said request? <laughs> All right. Is there any other questions among commissioners? Yes, I, I do have one question. If, if the land were ever reverted back or if, the, if they were to leave this, what would that leave it open to? Residential development? Uh, they could continue using it as a nursery or they could have 10 acre lots, which means that they could have two, two, two houses on that lot. Okay, that's what. Which is why initially they had come with general commercial with the condition to um, only permit nursery and wholesale there, and we, and we flip that to include it to be RE10 and allow the retail sales because if they end up leaving and you would just have this huge piece of property that's already general commercial and it is much easier once something is general commercial to come back later and say we want to remove these conditions from this property but continue to use it as general commercial so we're trying to avoid that any other questions 
one commission. So, so what we're saying is we're going to have a motion here shortly to, uh, with an addendum to not use the Almond Road entrance. Um, uh, yes, sir. And the, the con oops, sorry, the condition would just be no entry exit um, al along Almond Road permitted. All right. Would the commissioner like to make a motion? Yes, Mr. Baker. When it comes to REZN 04220776, request to rezone this 20.36 acres of land located at 11011 Veterans Parkway, uh, I motion that we uh, accept the rezoning with the proposed uh, addendum that um, no entry or exit would be allowed on Allman Road. Okay. Anybody like to second? Uh, we need to clarify the other conditions too, do, do we not? Which one? Well, about limiting the use. It, it is the nursery and garden supply retail sales permitted. That's already included in the, the, sta the staff report. Okay. Thank yes, you. sir. Everybody like to second? All right, Ms. Brown, thank you. Uh, um, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. All right. The, um, the, uh, the motion is approved with the condition. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Would the commissioner like to make a motion to adjourn? Like Mr. Dillon, second. Second. Oh, all right, we're adjourned. <laughs>